Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and we are doing a full-on self-care routine. Washing the hair, shaving the legs, we're really getting into it. This is one of my tricks to put shampoo in your hair before you shower. It really just helps get all the grease and grime out. Especially if you're a new mom like me, I wash my hair maybe once a week if I'm lucky. But this routine did not go how I expected because if you're a mom, you know you have an audience for every shower routine. And everything was going great and good until the princess woke up. This was supposed to be a nice self-care routine, one month postpartum, taking care of myself, getting back into it, and then reality kicked in, and my, the princess woke up, she demanded food, so I had to run and get her food, and I had to change her diaper, and then as soon as I finished giving her food, I had to change an explosion, so then I had to shower her, and now she's changed and bed and showered, and her self care routine is done. And I still, my hair is now crusty, like it's literally sticking up because of the shampoo in my hair. And now we're gonna shower, hopefully, because she's not sleeping. But she's content, so. Cue. <laughs> this self-care routine but I want you guys I want this to be realistic <laughs> and I'm, I'm putting in all the parts because being a mom trying to do self-care for one I have an audience and everything is cut up into pieces and my self-care routine takes three hours to do let's uh woo, rewind and start the routine turn the shower on do everything again but I'm not gonna put shampoo in my hair because my hair is literally crusty already. Hello. We are out of the shower. I already put deodorant. Not like you guys care about secret aluminum free um this is i did shave in the shower just because i haven't literally shaved in like freaking a week or two because it's not really a priority anymore to be honest like i usually just get in and out of the shower and the only days that i really shave are the days i wash my hair and at this point that's every like week that i wash my hair but i wanted to style it because tomorrow is mother's day and i'm trying to not look busted so I use the raw sugar body butter, winter berry, and mint. I use it on my legs. I'm also going to use it on my arms, but I'm running out. So usually I would put a lot more, but literally it's bone dry. So that can go in the trash. And then new thing, postpartum side mineral oil it's this brand africare this is the only brand i could find on amazon that was actually 100 percent mineral oil and didn't have a whole bunch of like extra stuff it goes on all of these guys so i just take like a little drop like that much Ooh. and i put it everywhere
This is supposed to like even your skin tone, but I just don't want them to be like as dark purple. I want to do a face mask just because I feel like my face is literally drier than the Sahara Desert. So I got these. They're just sheet masks. So let's see. It's supposed to be revitalizing. So hopefully it revitalizes me. Because this no sleep has your girl like. Actually, I'm, I've been doing really well. I've been doing really good on the no sleep, which I didn't think was possible because I am a sleepy girl. Honestly, having a newborn is literally great. I know that I might be a little biased just because I swear God bless me with the easiest baby ever. But I'm not leaving this on for 15 minutes. It's too small for my eyes. Like, whose face does this mimic? Honestly, I'm just here for the juice, and then... Yeah. Like, whose face is this supposed to mimic? Like, whose lips are this small? I'm supposed to do this? <laughs> I can see why these are $4.99. Okay, about five minutes have passed. We glowing? I really need to go and re up on all my skincare products because my skin has changed so much after giving birth. Like, my hair is like thick, like my eyebrows, they're literally like so thick. My skin has little patches everywhere. Like, it's making me a little scared. Yes, me. Oh, by the way, this towel, this microfiber towel on my head, literally, it clips in the back. Best thing that I have ever bought. Best thing I've ever bought. Hands down. Especially with long, 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 long hair like me. It is literally the best thing you could buy. And I literally bought it pregnant because I was like, I cannot wash my hair and have wet hair while I'm trying to take care of a whole child. So, but postpartum so far, I'm a month postpartum, a month and May 5th, I was month, a month postpartum. But April was a long month, so it was technically like five weeks, but it's one month. So far, so good. Um, my stitches are still still there. Um, I don't know when they're supposed to dissolve or disappear or what, but the stitches are still very much intact. Let's see this little hair. It's driving me nuts. Oops. Pulling out way more hairs than I need to. Postpartum, this is regular or regular lotion. Nothing to type about. But I'm a month postpartum, scissors are still there. Hemorrhoid is pops up when they want to, to be honest. Still a little scared to go to the bathroom, but you know, we're doing it. I didn't take any school softeners because I haven't had that much of a difficulty because I know a lot of people are like, girl, you need school softeners, but I did not take any. Besides when they gave them to me in the hospital, but they gave me them only once, so. Um, still taking my prenatals every day. They're not really prenatals, they're um, beef organs from Trace Minerals. If you are kind of like on the market for a prenatal or you want to change your prenatal because your prenatal isn't working for you, I highly, 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 highly recommend Trace Minerals. The beef organs. You have to take six pills at a time, but it is what it is. It literally keeps my mood stable. It keeps my energy stable. It did not give me nausea. It did not give me anything 
the prenatal pills that I took before that gave me nausea, like really, really bad. So these pills highly recommend, and I will continue taking them as a multivitamin just forever. So I will leave them in the description if you guys want to check them out where you're kind of like in, in between vitamins. Um, I just love them and I use them. Yeah, so that's that. Stretch marks, obviously you saw them. They're very pronounced, but I really don't care. My body changed to birth my beautiful little baby, so I don't care about that. I am no longer breastfeeding. I will put that, I will make another video if you guys are really interested about it. And I do want to share my story just because I feel like a lot of people go through it, but when you're going through it, all you see is like positive, like breastfeeding is great, breastfeeding is great, like don't give up, like keep trying, like, and it's draining. And I was like, I'm not doing this. So if you want to hear more about it, then let me know and I'll make a video eventually. So I'm not leaking anymore. Um, if I hand express, like a little, a little bit comes out, but I'm not leaking anymore. So I don't throw pads. I'm also not bleeding anymore, so I don't have to wear pads down there either. Um, but as I said before, my stitches are still very much there, so. I have my appointment eight weeks out, which is May 24th this month. So hopefully I can be cleared, but um, if you guys, you know, are watching, like are staying with our short form content as well, I posted a few videos of me starting to work out again. I use workout very, very, very loosely because I'm literally walking on the treadmill at 2.5 speed and just doing body exercises, resistance bands, literally the skinniest one with the smallest amount of resistance. And um, what's it called? And body weights for my pelvic floor because I really felt like my pelvic floor really really weak in the beginning but now it's gotten a lot better just with healing over time and obviously I've been incorporating some pelvic floor exercises into my workouts I don't go every day literally I probably have went like five times only so I'm just taking it slow trying to get back into the routine of using muscles that I literally have not used in probably a year at this point. One thing that I did have a little difficulty with was the mental side of things. Um, again, I want to use difficulty very, very, very loosely because it was literally maybe like three or four days. Well, the first time I left her home, I cried the whole entire car ride because my husband wanted to get me out of the house we literally went down the street to get pizza and I was crying eating my pizza because I didn't want to leave her. I didn't want her to be crying. And at this point I was breastfeeding. So let me just clear that. I was her only food source, which built on the mental, you know, anxiety. I would use it loosely or like stress since I was her only food source at that time. So like, it was just like a, I'm not there, what if she's starving and, you know, she's screaming, crying, and I'm over here enjoying your pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like kind of like a mom guilt thing, but also like a, like a sort of, like an instinct, instinctual thing. Um, and like, I would feel when she's crying, like, I'd be like, oh, she's crying. And I would like have to drop everything. And nine times out of ten, I was right, so. That was one thing, um, but when I stopped breastfeeding, my the mental shift was crazy. It literally was crazy because it was like, okay, anybody can feed her. I don't have to be the only one. Um, also, she sleeps way better on the formula just because she gets actually full like, she doesn't cluster feed on the formula. I don't even know if that's a thing, but... Like, she doesn't cluster feed on the formula. And I would literally have to feed her, like, 
on each side like three times before she would go to sleep for like an hour. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? I was getting up like six or seven times in the middle of the night. Now I get up two, three max. Around one and two, around three and four, and then around like five or six. But like six o'clock is not the middle of the night because I have, I'm up with the, you know, we get up with the, with the boys for school. So like by that time, it's already like, okay, um, I already have to be awake to make them lunch. So that really doesn't count in the middle of the night for me. For some people, it might. But for me, it doesn't. The, the breastfeeding, not breastfeeding really helped. The mental shift that I needed to have. Um, also, a lot of my mental changes were from not feeling like myself. I didn't really... If you guys followed through, like, my pregnancy, I didn't really get that big. So there was really no large amount of shrinkage for me. Um, my belly has already gone down to what it pretty much used to be. Besides the fact that I gained 45 pounds during my pregnancy. So obviously there's a little extra good stuff around. But... For the most part, I'm back down, like, stomach-wise, but, like, not feeling like myself sweating so much. It's disgusting. But part of postpartum hormones, I feel like I stink. And I ask my husband all the time, I'm like, babe, do I smell, like, like bad? He's like, no, you don't smell it. You literally smell like beer, right? And I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm like, like this, like I can't even explain it. I feel like I stink. Like you know, when it's that time of the month and you can literally smell yourself. Like that's how I feel all the time now. But it's like a sweaty, like dirty smell. Even right, like right now, I don't smell it because I'm literally spraying and lotioning and everything. But when I go to lay down or like. If I were to go do the dishes right now and, like, build up, like, a blood pressure of more than, like, my usual 110 over, like, 50, I feel like I'm sweating and I stink. So, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> Sorry for the positive affirmations. Yeah, my baby. I'm just coming here tomorrow. Well, that's it then. And the freaking flakes, y'all. Freaking flakes. Yeah, I'll be able to take this off to your teeth. Oh, you look glowing. I don't put those products. This is, this is just for the sun. I'm, I don't even use soap. I'll have to water it. You know, you're using soap. I don't even tell them you're not dirty. <laughs> now you're dirty, but you're not dirty. You're a clean man.